Well, well, that other car is charging in the daylight. You know, we're going to take this car down to see Bob Siebert uh, with the solar trailer. And this is a self-contained solar system. It's about 0.6 kilowatts. So you can get about uh, three and a half, four kilowatt hours per day. And actually, you could hook it up directly to the Manzanita, so you could charge the EV as you're driving. You know, it's also got a bunch of batteries in there, so it's uh, it it actually could power the electric car <laughs> if we needed to. Tomorrow, Saturday is going to be at the UC Irvine um, UC Irvine Earth Day celebration. So this is uh, Bill's Rab that that actually had the battery replacement at 115,000 miles, and now it's you know 119,000 miles. Um, and this has more uh, miles than any of our RAVs. And, and you know, they're susceptible to some things. I mean, there's a nick in the windshield here. You know, that, that's really the best and most efficient kind of transportation is a train. Trains are, are really the way to go. You know, electric cars are great for uh, driving around individually, but if you're going to move people in the most efficient way, an electric train is the best way to do it. Um, and not a diesel electric either, just an electrified train. And, and those tracks go all over. We need electrified trains. We need a high-speed rail system. And we need it to run on electricity like that. There's an electric power substation. So we're starting with 83.3%. This is the very RAB that was at Pomona when uh, President Obama visited the, uh, of the Pomona Southern California Edison Works to look at the plug-in, to look at the plug-in hybrids. And, and electric cars. This was the electric car that they did not let Mr. Obama see. Uh, this is the one that was actually attached at the time to the solar trailer. So you had solar power and electric cars, and actually the trailer could actually run the electric car. Now we could, we could if we wanted to, hook this solar, and we have, hook this um, batteries in this solar trailer up to the Manzanita charger and extend our range as long as we wanted. So we, with the solar trailer on the back of this of this RAV4 EV, you know we could extend the range farther uh, with the batteries that are in the trailer, and with the solar with the solar system that's in the trailer, we could produce uh, three and a half or maybe four kilowatt hours in those three solar panels in the back, um, which would be enough to go another 20 miles. But the batteries in there could also make it go even farther. You know we could actually probably extend the range another 50 or 60 miles and if we wanted to put more batteries in there we could go even farther so these things can be done you know the fact that uh, all the big auto companies are not doing it the fact that General Motors is postponing you know actually producing the Volt for it'll be it'll be like five years after they announced it indicates you know they really don't want to do it but these things are not difficult to set out I and mean, this is a <laughs> pretty much home-built trailer in the back you know and you can you can throw one of these things together pretty easily you could put a generator on it I mean you can do any of these things if you wanted to but clearly you know the powers that be don't want to I mean, individuals do it but you know not not the big guys not the not the companies that should be doing it that say they want to bring an electric car to market so here we go we're going along in this trailer and we come to this hill now can an electric car towing a thousand pound trailer go up a hill. Now this severe hill here, so we're going to find out. So here we go, we're passing cars on the right, which we shouldn't be doing. And we're coming up to this giant hill. Will this electric car, do I have to build up speed to make this hill? Uh, maybe I have to worry about can an electric car haul a trailer, a thousand pound trailer, up a gigantic hill like this. That's a, that's a pretty substantial hill. But to, good thing I don't have to come to a stop. Uh oh, there I guess I do have to come to a stop. There is a red light. So now we come to a stop. I'm gonna have, we lost all our momentum and we're gonna have to, you know, worry about, you know, can we make it up this hill from a standing stop? Make, moving so far, but you know, we're not climbing yet and all these cars are passing us. Oh, and another red light. What are we going to do? So maybe we'll have to come to a stop and get stuck here, you think? Oh my god. Look at these, all these cars are passing us and, and 
how can this electric car go up this gigantic steep hill? Now there's a man, Ron Paul. Now why doesn't he promote electric cars? Well, you know, maybe he didn't think about it. You know, maybe he thinks that electric cars don't have a big, aren't a big challenge to the oil companies. Uh, and, you know, I don't know why. You know, why is nobody promoting electric cars? Why is, why is it that they think this car that I'm riding in doesn't exist? I mean, there's not a solar trailer on the back. I couldn't put a generator on it. The manzanita doesn't exist. You can't set it up so it'll charge as it's running. I guess all these things are impossible. Huh? I can't go up this hill. I can't run an electric car. I can't make an electric car. None of these are possible, but, but they're actual, you know, and, and here they are. And actually I was held up by the car in front of me. I could have gone even faster. So dragging, uh, in fact, I'm gonna let this pickup truck in, give him a break, because uh, there's a traffic thing up ahead. And, and that's a Ford, and Bill Ford was good to us. Bill Ford stopped the crushing of the, of the Ranger EVs. So Ford is a good company, General Motors is not.